So LaMelo Ball is a top prospect in the 2020 NBA draft and he's currently playing in Australia which obviously if you can hear by my accent is where I'm from. I've been able to witness his first opening games live, his preseason games and obviously yes they are just preseason games but they give you a little bit of an indication on how he may play when the real season begins. Throughout the year we're going to look at his transition from how he started in the NBL to his eventual end in the NBL and if he will get drafted. I feel like I'll be able to give a lot of insight into LaMelo Ball and how he plays throughout his time in the NBL because obviously I'm going to have the ability to watch every single game, I'm going to obviously watch every single game and I'm going to see his highs and his lows throughout the year and give my personal unbiased take on LaMelo Ball. We're going to look at the preseason games in this video, but if you want to keep up to date with how LaMelo Ball plays throughout the season, if you're not going to be able to watch his games live and you want a recap, if you want an unbiased opinion, hit that subscribe button right there. Leave a like for the next video and comment down below what you thought of LaMelo Ball if you've witnessed him play. But with that said, let's get into the video. First things first, before we begin, you have to realize that an NBL real game is so different from a preseason game. I mean, to give you an example, on the right is an NBL type atmosphere, on the left is a preseason atmosphere. The two are definitely uncomparable, but what we do get out of a preseason game is a little bit of an indication as to how the mellow ball may play throughout the season. But I really just want to state that a preseason game is definitely not the same as a real NBL game and Obviously, there's a lot of hype surrounding LaMelo Ball, but in this video and on this channel, we try to steer away from the hype and just focus on the player himself. LaMelo Ball is an interesting player because you can't really compare him to anybody in the league right now. He's one of a kind and he's a very, very, very tall point guard. Obviously, we're seeing more of them like Ben Simmons and Lonzo Ball, but LaMelo is a little bit different to those players, even to his own brother. They both have the court vision, but LaMelo is definitely more of a shooter and Lonzo is definitely much better on the defensive end. But the main point was that they are both very tall point guards in a league that typically really has 6'2", 6'3", point guards. And so the uniqueness that he possesses is just so different from anybody else that we've seen in the league. But in this video specifically, we're going to look at the pros and cons of LaMelo Ball so far in his opening preseason games. Yes, they are just preseason games, but they do tell us a lot about what LaMelo could be in the NBL. And of course, if he even gets drafted to the NBA. Now, I do want to say that I watch both LaMelo Ball's games live. And obviously, highlights can really showcase what a player does, but it doesn't give you the whole picture. For example, here's LeBron James in the 2011 NBA Finals. He obviously looks incredible because number one, he is LeBron James, and number two, highlights don't tell the whole story. We know through context that this is LeBron James' worst ever performance in an NBA playoff series ever. But when you look at highlights, you don't see that because there is no context. And this is the way that I think LaMelo Ball has definitely been viewed throughout his career, simply because people don't want to watch a high school kid for a whole game. They just want to see the highlights and see what he does. When you watch the highlights versus when you watch a real game live, there's a complete difference. And you can basically make anybody look good through highlights or through a mixtape. And I think that the best example is LaMelo Ball. You give a 13-year-old, a 14-year-old, or a 15-year-old a mixtape of LaMelo Ball, and they're going to think that he's the greatest player to enter the 2020 NBA draft. But when you look at where those clips came from, and you look at the entire game, you can see that LaMelo definitely has some flaws, along with his pros. And so, now we're going to break down the pros and the cons of LaMelo Ball in his opening preseason games. The biggest pro for me was the fact that we all know that LaMelo Ball can score the ball, but it was going to be a little bit harder comparing his high school games and the Drew League and his time in Lithuania to the NBL, a professional league. I didn't think he was going to be able to score as well as he has been, and it's only the preseason, so we can't really measure it quite as we want to just yet. But the one thing that really surprised me was that he is able to score at will. And yes, he is playing a lot of minutes and he isn't playing the full strength teams, but his ability to score is still something that I think is definitely better than I originally thought. 
In terms of the pros, I think LaMelo Ball's ability to score against bigger bodies was something that I questioned at the beginning. I didn't think he would really be able to score against guys that were a lot stronger than him, a lot more physical than him, but his scoring has actually been pretty good. He's been able to finish around the rim a little bit more easy, and his floater game is exceptional. That is something that I noticed firsthand. I've obviously seen highlights of LaMelo Ball being able to hit the floater at will, but this was something that I was very surprised by because they've never shown a miss of a player in highlights. Even though through the entirety of a game in which they get a clip from, the player would tend to miss a lot more than they make. But Lamelo, when he did use the floater, didn't really miss in game as well. So that gave me a great indication that this is something that I think is his go-to move. Whenever he drives in the paint, he attacks and he uses his floater to his advantage, which is something that obviously works very well because he is six foot seven and definitely taller than most of the point guards in the league. Another thing that I noticed was his attack from an off-ball screen. I think that he can definitely create his own shot. He obviously has really good handles, but LaMelo uses the pick and roll game, which is far more prevalent in an NBA offense than in an NBL offense. And he uses it exceptionally even in an NBL offense, which is something that I guess we'll have to see if it really works throughout the regular season, but in the preseason, it has definitely worked. His brother, Lonzo Ball, has never really been able to showcase a dynamic pick and roll game in the NBA. Obviously, he's had a bit of a different situation as he's played with LeBron, who tends to be more of a point forward in the offense and doesn't really work well with Lonzo Ball. But even though Lonzo Ball's most common move was the pick and roll, he finished in just the 22nd percentile. Lamella has already shown his ability to finish around the pick and roll and finish off off-ball screens, finishing around the hoop, like I said, with the floater, or even using his passing ability to feed the big man down low, and that's another pro. Like I said before, his floater game looks very, very strong, but his scoring in transition was also something that I noticed that was actually really sold. For a guy that is still a teenager to finish around grown men is actually something that no matter how talented you are, it still takes some time to get used to. Finishing around bigger, stronger bodies, although he may be six foot seven, and although he may have the athleticism, it still takes a lot of concentration and willpower to finish around bigger bodies, and that was something that I noticed he was actually able to do. And the final pro that I have was his chemistry with his bigs. Lamelo's already been able to develop some pretty strong chemistry with his bigs. Like I mentioned before, his ability to take a screen and choose whether he wants to finish around the rim, take a mid-range shot, a three, or give it down low to his big man was something that I thought he really controlled the pace of. His chemistry already with Josh Boone, who if you don't know who Josh Boone is, he's a former NBA player, played for the New Jersey Nets. Thanks, Bird. Josh Boone with 22 points and 10 rebounds. Where did this come from, this inspired play from you? You know what? It was just a matter of getting a chance. Josh Boone playing like a big-time player. Was actually really solid, averaged around 26 minutes in like the 07-08 season. So his chemistry with a young player, a teenager like LaMelo Ball, that obviously shows us that LaMelo can really fit in with any player, and he's definitely a team player. And whilst his assists haven't really shown on the stat sheet, LaMelo is definitely a willing passer. And if you didn't watch the games live, you would have seen that LaMelo really doesn't have many assists on the stat sheet. But if you watched the games live, you would have noticed that he was definitely trying to feed his teammates the ball. Most of them just weren't hitting their shots, apart from obviously big men like Josh Boone and the other big men on the roster. So now we're gonna look at the cons of LaMelo Ball. And the overall reason why I'm making this video is so we can compare him as he is right now in the opening stage of his NBL career to the end in which he's hopeful that he'll eventually get drafted. And we can see the comparisons from the start to the end and in between. So looking at the cons, the first thing that we noticed was that he definitely fouls way too much. He got fouled out in the second game, and in the first preseason game, he also fouled quite a bit as well. But in the second game, it was more noticeable because he got fouled out when the game was in a clutch situation in which he obviously would have loved to be on the court. His team would have loved him to be on the court. Now, the fouls definitely come down to his defense. He's definitely lacking on defense. He is getting a lot of steals though, but the steals don't translate to his defense. And if you watch him live, you would notice that even though he got three steals in his first game, and I think four steals in his second game, his defense is definitely lacking. And if you just look at the stats sheet and you just looked at the highlights, you may think he's improved on his defense, but he definitely hasn't. His defense is something he needs to work on. And that will be something that will cost him throughout the regular season and not in a preseason game. Because at the end of the day, he probably won't start in the regular season or be playing heavy minutes until he earns it. And I think he's going to have to earn it on the defensive end more so than the offensive end. 
Another thing that I noticed was that he kind of looks undersized in a way. We all know that he is six foot seven, so he's definitely not undersized. But because he is a teenager and he hasn't actually built up his body to look like a man yet, he obviously isn't as heavy and as strong as some of the other guys he plays with or plays against. And it's kind of a disability for him because even though he put on 10 to 15 pounds this summer, he really looks smaller than he is, even though he's six foot seven. And that is just something that hopefully throughout the rest of the year, he's going to be able to build up a little bit more muscle. He's obviously just going to develop a little bit more into his body. And hopefully this prepares him to playing against men in the NBA because he's already going to be playing against them in the NBL and past NBA players is something that I think will definitely benefit LaMelo Ball. But to break it down real simple, his pros, obviously his ability to score around the basket using his floater was something that was exceptional and his biggest con was definitely his defense and that he definitely fails too much. But overall, we're going to see how he plays throughout the regular season. This was just the opening preseason games. So let me know what you guys thought about LaMelo Ball.